Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy and today I have the McAllen 18 year old triple cask with prices being as high as they are for this bottle. Is there any possible way that this is worth its price? I'll let you know when I nose it, taste it and give it a mark. All right, three different cask masturations going into this, hence the name. They're using European and American seasoned sherry oak plus ex-bourbon casks coming in at 43% ABV. This expression was bottled 2018. Let's see what it is on the nose. Very light, refreshing, crisp kind of nose here. Lots of like floral elements, uh, a little bit of uh, vanilla in there. Some fruit, definitely get a little bit of citrus. That orange note that you sometimes pick up in Macallans, I do get it in here. Or like apricot, maybe like a little bit of apple, like fresh apple, cut apple slices. Very, very subtle oakiness, just very uh, on the back end there. But yeah, very light, refreshing, not too bold. This is very, very approachable. Not too complex. Um, but like I said, just uh, it, it kind of leaves you wanting a little bit more, in my opinion. Let's go palette. So the Macallan, uh, like that house style that uh, you kind of get in certain expressions, a little bit of it here. Very, very faint, you kind of got to fight for it, but you do get a lot of that orange, that chocolate orange note um, that you get in Macallan's. Um, it is very uh, more so uh, noticeable on the palate and the finish than on the nose. Some, um, some spicy notes, some fudge going on with it, again that kind of like zesty kind of citrus note. And those like McCallum's uh, house style like tannins, just a little bit, just a little bit on the back end. Uh, the finish, I'd say it's maybe like a medium length, not too long, but again, this whiskey, very, very light in profile. Again, the crispy uh, cleanness of it kind of leaves me wanting more out of this bottle. Um, it just, it's, it's weak. I mean, it's very thin, not much viscosity to speak of. Uh, you know, it kind of, even though the finish is, it's not a short finish. You do get a decent length, I'd say medium, but it's not long. It's not drawn out. Um, the oak, uh, it very well balanced for sure. All these notes are, are well balanced in here. But what I'm looking for in a whiskey is something kind of like more bold, robust, um, some character. This thing is very uh, characterless, in, in my opinion. Uh, I think Macallan is kind of going in that direction where they chill filter their whiskey, they bring it down to 43, uh, the casks in here, you know, not much to speak of as far as character is concerned. They're making this whiskey smooth. I mean, if you looked up smooth whiskey in the dictionary, you might see a bottle of this, peek its head out. Um, something designed for a scotch drinker that is looking for something, you know, super light, uh, really easy to drink something smooth, something that's not gonna be uh, harsh on your palate at all. You know, Macallan is, is definitely serving that market. I do really like the like the orange, chocolate orange, chocolate fudge uh, notes on this, but they're just dialed back way too much. I mean, they gotta be more uh, up there uh, to get a good score for me. So the Macallan uh, Triple Cask, this replaced the Fine Oak series. Uh, I do have a bottle of the old Macallan 18 uh, Fine Oak. Now take a look at the color. Now and something interesting to see here is that you, they do say uh, natural color uh, on this bottle. Macallan doesn't necessarily say that on every single bottle. They do it here. So we all know that Macallan does not artificially color their whiskey, even though they don't always disclose that. Uh, it is interesting that they do it on this one. So take a look at this old Fine Oak. Uh, so this is back uh, before they rebranded change the bottle design. Look at the color difference on this. Take a look, uh, maybe you can come to some kind of conclusion of what types of casks they're using, how much first fill, second fill might have gone into the old release, and now what they're putting out uh, in these new releases. Um, you know, these, these old Fine Oaks, I wasn't a huge fan of them. They were great whiskeys. Um, some people like them more than others. Of course, their sherry uh, line was, was my favorite for sure. But this bottle blows this one away, in my opinion. Um, just 
it's unfortunate what McAllen has kind of done to their brand. Uh, just, you know, blended it out, watered it down. You know, are they using second fill, third fill casts here, uh, stretching out their product line? Uh, and the prices they're charging. Let's talk price on this. And I'll talk price before uh, I score it. Um, prices for this, you can look on McAllen's official website. They're selling this bottle for 255 British pounds. That converts to about 245 Canadian dollars, about 355 US dollars. I paid 180 US for this. Now that was uh, seven, eight years ago, however long it was. A while ago, of course. Um, but you know, prices essentially uh, have doubled uh, since then and for a lesser whiskey, in my opinion. Um, score wise for me on this one, I'm going 83 out of 100. Like I said, I do enjoy uh, the chocolate notes. Um, that uh, orange note, the McAllen style, it's here, it's good, um, but just way too weak, way too thin, uh, not the whiskey that, uh, that I'd be looking for. Uh, Value-wise, not gonna score it for value. This is a bottle on loan from my good friend Rob, Whiskey in the Six, so thank you so much for lending me that one. Uh, if I was to pay full retail for this one, 455, or sorry, 445 Canadian dollars, it'd be taking off five, at least five points uh, for value for me. Uh, it would be bringing it right down into the 70s because uh, absolutely not worth it. Um, this whiskey is for someone who maybe is an occasional drinker that has lots of money and just wants to drink something smooth and uh, refreshing and light, and that's what it is. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts. McAllen, triple cast. Have you had the 18-year-old? Uh, what's your thoughts on it? What's your thoughts on the rest of the range? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.